Hello and welcome. What we're going to take a look at today is mainly looking at the use of electroacupuncture, primarily to treat heel pain. Now, what I'm going to show you is a patient that I actually treated. She presented with a Haglund's deformity, which was quite painful on the back of her heel, and also with plantar fasciitis, which turned out to be more the calcaneum, bruising of the calcaneum, due to a reduced uh, fatty padding underneath the heel. So it was mainly the bone that was the primary cause of the heel pain and partly due to walking long distances in walking boots which was pretty firm on the actual base. Now I had treated her on a number of occasions mainly utilising a range of treatment modalities including soft tissues to the calf, stretching exercises. We had actually used acupuncture, more manual acupuncture and also laser acupuncture which helped but however didn't quite resolve the problem and it was becoming, uh, when she did present, it was a case of chronic. So in order to resolve the problem I started to utilise uh, electroacupuncture and that's where we managed to fully resolve the problem and that's where we got the biggest impact. Now, what I'm actually demonstrating to you is a technique um, which I've developed over time and also through looking at other research on treating bone uh, and bone pain, primarily utilising electroacupuncture, mainly to address fractures and anything where there's any um, damage to bone. Now, I found this technique quite effective on a range of different treatment conditions, mainly stress fractures of the metatarsals. I found it significantly accelerates the rate of healing. Now, the importance of utilising this technique and how you utilise it is one, is going to be the equipment. So it's not just a case of using a straightforward electroacupuncture unit. As you will see in this um, presentation, I've used a particular unit which allows me to switch polarities so I can allow all the polarities to the area to be a negative or a positive. So in this case, I've utilised a positive polarity, mainly because positive has been shown to be more effective at allowing bone to heal that much quicker. So it is important that you choose the right polarity to treat bone disorders. So I've used a positive polarity. In addition to that, um, it is important that the needle goes right the way down to the actual bone, down to the calcaneum. In the past where I've used electroacupuncture, even though I've used a positive polarity, the rate of recovery has been that much slower if I'm not able to get the needle right the way down to the bone. So it is important you actually achieve that in order to settle this condition quickly. So again, there are two techniques which you do need to make sure that you actually apply. Same again is the frequency. So besides the polarity, and also needling down to the bone, the importance is the frequency. Now again, studies have demonstrated in allowing fractures to heal that much quicker, the frequency is important. So therefore, the primary focus for bone healing is gonna be a frequency of between 10 and 20 hertz maximum. Ideally, if you could get it closer to 10, studies have shown that's gonna be more effective. So 10 hertz is your optimum frequency. So anything between 10 and 15 is what you're actually aiming to achieve. So after actually applying this technique to this particular patient, I only saw her for about another two or three times at the most, and that was it, her problem was actually resolved. So what we're gonna basically do now is to take a look of me applying this technique to this patient and how it's actually done. focal point. How's that? Yeah, that's the end of that. Okay, come down a bit. How are we now? Mm, about the same actually, yeah. How's this one? That's okay there. Okay, so I'll come into this one. That's my distal one. Okay. 
Okay. Picking at the bone. Yeah, yeah that's where it's just got a bit tender yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just when I'm just pecked to the bone. Mm. It's a little bit more tender than others. Right, so let's go to the one below now. Bone now again. So I'll just surround the dragon, as you may call it. Mm. That one's so. <laughs> yeah. Got the other one to the side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just come to you, a little small one on here as well. It's a good job I do meditation and I have to consciously relax the bits that hurt. All oh, right. <laughs> you breathe into them and you breathe out of them. <laughs> I'll just do the two on this one. All right. So how's this one here? Yeah, it's still tender that side. Okay, let's do one top of one. Okay, okay. let's get our little electrodes. Let's just get these in. Right, let's see. Right, let's uh, want to turn that down. About ten hertz. Right, positive, positive, positive. Right, just let me know when you can actually feel anything. Gets to a comfortable level. 
That's okay. Yeah. All right, next one. That's all right, that? Yeah. Next one. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. 